This is a short overview of the prototype of the Trussell Trust's new dynamic visualisation tool. This work was developed in partnership with the University of Hull, machine learning and data science firm Coppelia, and social innovation agency AAM Associates. It was supported by funding from Nemode, an initiative under the Research Council's UK Digital Economy Research Programme. So, this um, shows the core functionality. The, the blue heat map shading indicates usage based on postcode data of visits to the Trussell Trust food banks. And you can zoom in uh, for that and wait for the data to load. Uh, the darker the colour, the greater the use of food banks in that area. So even at this high level, we can start to see in clearer ways the patterns of distribution. And perhaps in some areas, if we might want to look at the siting of individual food banks, are they placed in the areas closest to the uh, um, areas greatest uses, usage as shown by the data? Alternatively, you can look at crisis type. Uh, this is the primary reason that the visitor gave to the food bank uh, for their attendance on that day when they came to request food. You can click on uh, any one of the, the core uh, functionality areas um, that are on the referral form and you'll get the, the, different, uh, the different explanations and overviews um, as was presented. Um, food bank locations, I should say, are, lo are uh, represented by the orange dots on the screen. They are the Trussell Trust food banks across the um, uh, across the country, and you can see by hovering over them that it pops up the name and the location of the particular food bank. Uh, you can toggle them on and off with this button if you just want to look at the usage passion usage patterns without the orange dots. Um, if you click on an individual food bank you'll be shown the particular reach of that food bank. That is how far the individuals will have travelled to reach the food bank from their um, home postcode destination. And this visualisation, again early stage, will lead us to explore the data further. Uh, some, could some of the longer vi visits be due to data entry er error, or might we have awareness or signposting issues in some areas that can be corrected uh, by greater uh, local information? We also have a drive time feature uh, down here. I'll go back to actual use. Um, and drive time uh, gives an, op uh, an indication based on uh, op open drive time data, uh, presents an overview of how long it would take a client to reach a particular food bank. It's set to half an hour drive. So if we click on Banbury, for example, that says how long it would take someone in a car in half an hour to reach that, that particular food bank. Uh, this is something we want to explore for further in future iterations, again, to see if food banks are in the optimal locations to meet need, not just for driving, but obviously for walking and for using public transport. The final key area is around predicted need. And this is one of the more exciting experiments uh, where we have aligned uh, existing usage patterns, as you've been looking at, with a range of open data sets and deprivation indices to build an early stage predictive model. We arrived at this by mapping five years of food bank data, which sits at the core of the, the main platform, against deprivation indices from the 2011 census and other open data sources. Based on these usage, usage patterns, that model suggests that the need for our services might look like this on this screen here. Again, the darker the color suggests the greater need. Now, there are lots of caveats to this particular predictive element, and we must underline that it's a very early stage experiment. But we are committed to exploring this further and thinking strategically about how we might respond to what look like the largest areas of unmet need, where we aren't close to the people who might need us. So in conclusion, all in all, this exploration has been an important next step to help us use and understand our data in more creative ways. There are many more things we want to do to extend the platform should funding allow. These include building a time series so we can see how uh, patterns of usage change year on year. All of this so far has been focused on actual usage based on one large data set over a number of years. Potentially adding in referral agency locations and exploring how that might lead to a more detailed understanding locally. Perhaps adding in independent food bank locations to get a much richer picture of delivery networks nationally and how we might want to partner, for example. And a large selection of additional functionality to help unlock the power of the data in the hands of the user in the initial case of our, our, our local food banks. Uh, those kind of things might include being able to see maps side by side to compare crisis types, building in some export functions so maps can be explored offline, or isolating the uses passions to individual food banks, especially important when many operate in quite close proximity to one another. We are convinced that we can gain more insights from this intelligent use of emerging data and analytics techniques and look forward to continuing our data journey in the months and years ahead.